back to the 70s. Rob Ellis is here with the real time forecast. Yeah, we're settling into a very fall like pattern and that doesn't necessarily mean that the temperatures just remain cool and steady. It actually means a lot of a roller coaster ride and that's what we're on. We're going to see that temperatures warm up nicely during the day. We'll see 60s close to 70 for the next couple of days and they cool down quite a bit at night. We already are starting to lose some of the temperatures from earlier in the day. There's 62 for Wheaton, still some mid to upper 60s for some of you, but I think we're going to see these numbers once we lose the heat of the day uh, and uh, with the clear skies we're going to see these numbers drop pretty dramatically. Let's widen the view a little bit just to show you there is still a little bit of cool air in place. Notice to the west bit of a warm up and this is what I mean about that typical fall pattern. You have a lot of this warm air that surges north, some cooler air that surges south and it's that undulation that ups and downs that moves our way that gives us these temperature swings and we're going to see that in our forecast. You can really see it in the large View. Some cooler air settling in across the Rockies, big warm up across the center part of the country, then a cool down for the East Coast. Then you slide all that east, and it means that our temperatures are going to go up and down as well. Good news is we've got clear skies, and that means a lot of sunshine over the next couple of days. That too will help to warm us up. Although the sun angle is not quite as strong as it was as we got into the summer, most of the activity has been to the east when it comes to rain, but that may change for us as we look down the road. So for tonight, cooling back down close to where we were this morning and the previous morning, mid 40s. Still have the dry air in place, but with lighter winds and clear skies, we should be able to have a pretty cool start to tomorrow, but it's going to warm up very quickly. We'll be in the 40s by 8 a.m., but we're going to be in the 60s just three hours later, and we're likely going to stay in the upper 60s for most of the afternoon afternoon. I think our high temperature is going to end up being right around 70 degrees, depending on where you are. Here's how it looks on radar tracker. I'll let it run, not necessarily for what you see, for what you see, but what you don't see. Clear skies all the way through Monday afternoon. The only difference is once we get into Tuesday, I think a few more high thin clouds may roll in, and that may be a sign that the pattern is about to change. So from pure sunshine on uh, Monday to maybe a few more clouds added to Tuesday, that up and down trend I talked about. Here's the up part of the mountain. And then you cool down into the lower valley of the mountain where you have uh, uh, temperatures going back down into the 50s and 40s, maybe even some 30s overnight. I think we're going to see this pattern last for quite a while. In order to change from those 70s to 50s, you have to bring in a front, and that'll bring us some rain chances late Wednesday into Thursday. Jim? Did you say 30s? Potentially, yeah, <laughs> sometime, sometime later this week. It was bound to happen. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. You got it. From Cooking Tips.